All right, guys, 14 March. Welcome back. 14 March 2022. And what am I looking at here? I'm looking at my Discord. So what I have, I have a little bot running, which will go out and monitor Newegg, Amazon, and detect any new in-stock alerts on GPUs. And I provide the link, and I think pricing sometimes in the uh, Discord. Otherwise, you got to click on the link to find out what the pricing is. If anything, it kind of gives you a warm fuzzy on which cards are available, which cards are in stock, and the pricing may not be great, but sometimes I do find a little gem like a 6600 XT for under uh, 500 bucks. Looking at eBay prices, I mean, those, those guys on eBay are still asking prices matching Amazon prices, if not more. So I don't know. It's always good to keep looking. Maybe set a weekly or bi-weekly task up to go look and see what cards are doing. And in general, I think things are coming down a little bit, just a little bit. And what am I looking at? Well, let's go see. So here's the Discord. Uh, I get CPU notices as well. Ryzen 9 5900X came in. And uh, you can click on that and see what's going on. It's in the in-stock alerts channel on the Discord page. I have my newest videos and general chat, eBay price tracker, Newegg price tracker. We can go check that out too. Uh, let's see, I've got stuff coming in. There's thir uh, RTX 3060 Twin Edge, OC 12 gigabytes. I've seen a lot of 1660, here we go, 1660s popping up, 1650, 67, uh, 3060 Ti's, etc. So stuff is out there. I have not seen any Founders Edition cards. I've not seen those in a long time. And those are nice, for guys that don't know, those are nice cards because they are non-LHR cards. LHR cards aren't the greatest, but you can still get 90 mega hash on a 3080 Ti LHR, but you're going to be drawing 275 to 300 watts of power. So something to consider. Yeah, so let's see, what's in this new egg price tracker? I haven't checked that in a while. Uh, oh, that's just some of the price differences. That was, I didn't run that for a while. I got to rerun that, but it gives you a nice spreadsheet of what's on Newegg right now and uh, kind of the price ranges. So there, if you're interested in just some research on GPUs, go check her out. So let's go over to Newegg. All right, Newegg. So what I do when I see a card I'm kind of interested in, but I don't want to buy, I will add it to my shopping cart save for later in new egg um, and then I'll come back and see what's up see if it goes down because they will update the price while it sits in your uh, save for later cart whatever you call it on your save for later list so let's go through and see what I got I'm just sharing I'm curious to see what other people have seen out there that you should buy right now if you're gonna buy any GPUs just curious what others are buying I'm really leaning towards the the older cards like the 1660 Super, 1660 Ti, and even the 6600 XT. Not That's not really that old, but uh, just the lower price cards and efficient cards. Because on the 1660 Ti and Super, you can get 32 mega hash. 32 mega hash mining Ethereum if you uh, overclock it right. So not too bad. And the power, I think, is 70 wattage. So very comparable very comparable to the uh, 6600 XT. All right, so what do we got here? We have an MSI Aventus 1660 Super for 434. I did go on um, eBay and looked and the prices are that if not higher. So that wasn't too bad, especially on Newegg. Uh, next one is a 1660 Super as well, all 60 gig gigabyte cards. And that is an interesting price right now. This one came up today, and it's out of stock. Crap. <laughs> I got the alert on my Discord, and I clicked on it, and I went, that seems too good to be true. Something's not right. I don't really want to spend any money now. I'm stupid. I should have bought one. Now seeing that the thing is out of stock, that's the way I get FOMO, fear of missing out. I missed out, and I waited too long. Uh, I overthought my, my position. I should have just at least bought one. Because, geez, 379, and I get 32 mega hash. That's one more card closer to my new goal. Yes, I have a new goal of two giga hash. Uh, yeah. Brandon Coin has inspired me. He is my hero. He is my spirit animal. 
he has 3.1 or 2 giga, giga hash working on his farms of every different type card in the world. And I love it. I love it. I love how he just throws the stuff together and it works, man. It's just like stuff, not fluff. It's, it's one of the best channels out there. Uh, yeah. So I want to definitely uh, get at least a 2 giga hash, but smartly this time. I don't want to dump a lot of bucks down on cards I don't really want to overspend on. Like the big 30, 80, 30, 90s. I don't, I don't know. I'd rather get a bunch of smaller cards. And like this was a perfect example today. This GE Force GTX 1660 Super. When you see a price that is under 400 for a card and you get a 32 mega hash, I should have just jumped on and bought one. And then canceled it later if I really was upset about it or not wanting to do it. So there's a life lesson right there. What else do we have cook in here? We have a 6600 XT, 8 gigabytes. 569 still I don't like it doesn't motivate me when I see a 6600 XT over 500 bucks because <clears throat> I know I got to add shipping and crap on top of that and I do not want to so here we have a uh, another 66 XT a gigabyte at 549 I got a uh, I think it's on my list here let's keep going I got a sapphire nitro I think 66 XT for under 500 a couple months ago, and I was so so happy about it. I went, wow, this this is good. No one else was buying them. I said, boom, give me that card. Oh, here we have a 1660 Super for 479er, and 1660 Super for three. Again, look at that, 100 buck difference. And even this one's available right now, this MSI. Uh, yeah. I don't really care about the brand, as long as the thing works. All right, let's go. We got MSI 479. Here we have the old XT. This one's out of stock 509C. We're closer to the under the 500 mark, close to it. 10 bucks off, but it's out of stock. See, people are kind of, I think, have, have the same criteria I do cheap at a certain price point. And then they'll pull the trigger and they'll buy. All right, what do we got? Another 66 XT. Oh, that's not a bad price. Ashrock, they make good motherboards. So this is actually tempting right now. For 500 schmackaroos. That's 1660. Oh, uh -huh. I kind of kicked myself right now. 379. <laughs> Jeez. Crap. All right. Uh, where were we at? So we have the Zotacker 1660 Super for 519. Uh, that's about, what, 40 bucks too high. So negative on that one. Uh, let's see. 66 XT. Way too much. Way too much. 629. Not even interested. Oh, here we got. Here we go. Here's a good example. It's my last one on my list. Oh no, I got more. Asus Tough Gaming 1660 Ti 409. This is not bad. Uh, I wish it could drop a little more, maybe 30 more bucks. But here you see it drop 12 percent, and it's in stock. So it's like people are, are kind of not buying the older cards, which I don't really give a crap because the thing can mine, and it's not drawing much power, so it's kind of efficient, and you're getting something. So. You never know. Something to think about. That's where I'm at. That's where my little mind, my, uh, what do you call it, headspace is right now. Is where I'm thinking. This is one of my cards I want to get. 66 XT, Sapphire Nitro. 539, way too much. I want it to give you though, 40 bucks more off. I want it to give you though, 500 bucks for me to consider buying it. Oh, what do we got now? This is a 6600 non-XT. 449, eh, I, I don't know. It should be less. So in general, I think some cards are coming down, especially the 1660 series, Supers and TIs, slowly but surely, 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 whatever. Uh, this, this is what interests me a little bit. I don't know. I would, ugh, I don't know. I should have got this. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens, ladies and gentlemen. Out of stock. I'm a, such an idiot. I, I had the chance. To get, they said, they actually said limit 20 per customer. I said, shoot, I could have bought like four of these, you know? But I want to see what I'm getting back if any money on my tax or if I owe taxes. And that's where I'm at. I don't want to, I don't want to dump any more cash right now. I'm kind of just stacking coins and rolling that way. So there you go. Here was another win today. That was from my Discord. It came up. And go join the Discord, man. Help me out. Join up. Post some questions, post your facts, post your knowledge, post your overclock settings, share, share, share. The community is awesome. Everyone learns from everyone else. No one is an expert. 
uh, an expert to me is someone that just read a book a day before you read that book, right? That is a definition of an expert to me. You read that book, boom, you're on the same page as them, literally, right? All right, there you go. That is what I'm looking at. I'm kind of looking now at 1660 series cards, TI Supers, and still have an eyeball on those 6600 AMD XTs. Yeah, look at that. This is a perfect little card. Look at that. Stuff, no fluff, no crappy LEDs. Just give me the uh, mega hash and mine that little Ethereum for me until Ethereum goes away. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you're trying to buy, what you're watching. And, uh, yeah, I'd love to know, man. I'd love to know what's out there. Um, not interested in any of the new cards coming out. I know NVIDIA is talking about a 40, 40 series. Uh, yeah, I'm waiting to hear about these Intels. I love to hear about these Intel, if they're coming out with a little card or not. Who knows? I don't know. I keep my alerts open. And I don't see anything new. But uh, that's where we're at. All right, guys. Go forth, do great things. Keep mining. Keep mining. Keep mining. Do it. Do it. Do it. And, um, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you all later.